We all know how effective the method feeder can be, certainly on commercial waters. However, there is so much choice out there when it comes to selecting the right feeder, it's inevitable that we get asked lots and lots of questions about what style of feeder would we use on what sort of a, an occasion. For me, there are two styles that I use, the open method feeder, that's the one with sides on it, if you want to call it that, and the other one is the more conventional method feeder. We get asked all the time, when would you use each style? So that's what this upload is. Now the style of feeder that you're probably most familiar with is the more conventional method feeder. Okay, it's got a nice flat bottom on it and there's nothing over the top. And that's the style of feeder that you would generally use or is more commonly used with some sort of a mold. And that'll just allow you to mold either the pellets or the ground bait or the combination of, of the two around that actual feeder. Now that's basically the style of feeder that I prefer to use when I'm fishing at short range. So on lots of the feeder orientated competitions that we're involved in, you can't float fish, you cannot fish with a pole. So targeting those areas on a short pole line or down the margin can be absolutely devastating if you target them with that style of method feeder. This style of method feeder also allows you to use ground bait as water can get to the ground bait really easy and that will just help break it down. Now the other style of feeder is what we refer to as the open method style feeder and this is the kind of feeder that really has a side, it has a lip round it and that helps contain the bait. Now this sort of a feeder can be really really good if you're fishing at range, either mid range or long range and that's because the sides on this feeder actually help protect the bait that's actually in there on that impact. So if you're casting you know, 50, 60, even up to 100 meters, that sort of a feeder, when you hit your clip or when you go to feather the feeder in, these sides just help protect the bait and just try and make sure that it's still intact, that the bait is still around the feeder when it hits the surface and when it reaches the bottom of the lake. And this is, can also be a great style of feeder to use in winter when you're leaving, leaving your feeder out there longer. On some competitions I fish, we might be leaving the feeder in up to 30, 40 minutes even in winter. And because this style of feeder has actually got sides on it, it just helps keep all that bait in one place, almost on a dinner plate, where hopefully your hook bait, if presented right, is gonna be presented right in the middle of that little ball of feed. This style feeder does have limitations, however, if you are certainly in winter using ground bait, in winter we tend to cut back on the feed. On some venues you might be after bream and skimmers as well as carp, and that's when ground bait or a combination of ground bait and pellets can be good. This style feeder doesn't allow you to fish with ground bait as well, and that's because the ground bait, when it's in that sort of a feeder, it's protected from the water, and because ground bait doesn't expand like pellets, you'll find that the ground bait doesn't exit this sort of a feeder as well as a conventional method feeder. However, I think it's worth mentioning that there are occasions when I might be switching between the two. On some days you might find out that a more conventional method feeder is better than the open method style. We'd never always know which is going to be right, but the beauty about these sorts of things is now that there are quick change systems there. This is the Matrix one that I use, and this allows me to quickly and easily switch between the two. That just means that you haven't got to have multiple setups. Let's face it, it's quite easy to spend lots of money on a great rod and a great reel, but if you want duplicates then that can work out really, really expensive. And by having these quick change systems like this, this just means that you're not totally committed to the method that you've actually set off fishing. So the next time that you're out there fishing with a method feeder and you're not catching, just try switching. It's amazing how many times you can just switch the style of feeder and that will transform your session. It's fishing, always and never doesn't exist. And with this sort of system, you can find out what is going to give you the optimum presentation for that given day.